In this video, I'm going to show you how to create SSL certificate for your website by using Let's Encrypt. So if I come to my website here, so I could see non-secure site. So if I uh, visit this website, the HTTPS, it's not going to work though. So because I didn't uh, configure it uh, with uh, HTTPS. So what I'm going to do, uh, I already connected to one of my uh, one of my Linux machines. So I'm going to connect again. Just be a series. So what, once you do that, then uh, let's see whether you have let's encrypt. Let's encrypt. So I don't have. Actually, we need third port. So I'm sorry. So let's install third port. So once you install, then you need to run this command. So this command is going to generate SSL certificate for your website. And then we need to uh, verify with the DNS as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So here, uh, put your email ID. So because this certificate is going to expire after 90 days, so you can receive a notification on your email. So make sure to use a uh, working email ID. Then uh, replace uh, this one with your domain. So this one is going to, uh, this will be used for your subdomains as well. And then uh, this one for your domain. So just uh, replace this with a domain. So once you do that, just copy this uh, command. Then come to your uh, terminal and paste it. Okay, it didn't work. Let me copy again. Then press yes. Then it's going to ask you uh, for creating a DNS record. So TXT record. So it should be underscore ACM iPhone challenge. Then the value should be this one. I'm just going to copy this value. Then wherever you're hosting your uh, website, so uh, DNS, uh, wherever you're hosting your DNS, so just go over there. So in my case, I'm hosting uh, my DNS zone over here on AWS itself. Then I'm going to click on create record. Then we need to create underscore ACME iPhone challenge. So this one underscore ACME iPhone challenge dot binary out shop. So binary dot shop. So I'm gonna put that value as this one. It should be a TXT card. Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. Let me copy that uh, value again. And then create a record. Then once you create that, then you need to uh, press enter. So before pressing enter, let's make sure this uh, the TXT record has been updated. So I'm gonna go to uh, dig Google. Then check with ACME iPhone challenge on your domain and look for TXT record. So now I can see that the DU, it's a, this is the, it matches with the, this one. So I'm gonna press enter. And whenever you're doing this first time, it's gonna it's gonna ask you for to create a TXT record with the with the following value as well. So I'm just gonna copy this value again. I'm gonna go to website, uh, sorry, this uh, DNS zone. And in my case, I'm just gonna edit the same uh, TXT record because you can't put a uh, same TXT record with the the same uh, record name. So if, you, if you're trying to do that, it's going to say that it, you're just duplicating it. So I'm just going to edit it, the new value. Then uh, just wait for a minute. 
this this new value contains the value of zero y so let's check that I jump into dns again google dns okay now i can see zero by the new record so let's press enter okay if it fails just i try the same thing again just rerun the command i don't know some reason it fails but second time it's gonna be uh it's gonna be fine just update that uh, value acme underscore okay edit replace it then come to the uh, google again now i can see ea the new record it seems okay that looks fine now it's it's i hope it's gonna work now okay now i got the uh i got two certificates so i'm just gonna copy this path i do have uh, that nginx configuration file for, uh, for enabling sss uh, sorry tls or ssl so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna paste this path so uh, here uh, you could say i could see the website just replace with this one with your domain and this one as well and this one as well and then you need to put the right path so i'm gonna here you could see for ssl i could see a path as well so this is the pem path i just copied from that uh, terminal so i'm just gonna replace and then this one private key and that's it so i'm just gonna copy this Then jump into a CD, etc. Nginx. Then we have sites enabled and uh, available. So I'm gonna go to site enable. Just going to remove this default one. Then I'm going to create a new file. Just name it anything. I'm gonna say uh, root, or you can say you you can put your domain name when i ready dot shop then paste it copy this again okay i can see that file now let's jump into sites are uh, available because we have default file hold, so we need to remove this as well. Once you do that, just type nginx hyphen t. So it shows that uh, everything looks fine. So I'm just gonna do systemctl restart nginx. Now if I do now i got the ssl uh, t uh, https website now we can see certificate uh, with the wildcard and uh, i got with uh, got from let's encrypt and it shows the date and uh, issue date and expiry date so this is how you can get uh, your SSL, ssl certificate from uh, let's encrypt thank you so much for watching